Welcome to the NVIDIA Insight Graphics 2024.1 Release Spotlight. In this release, we're very excited to finally unveil the all-new Insight Shader Debugger. In addition, we've added a new events list in GPU Trace, improved trace analysis, added support for CUDA events, including NGX Shader's attribution, added support for OpenXR, and now show the full resource history for aftermath crash dumps. After years of development, the Vulkan Shader Debugger is now available as a beta early access feature in Insight Graphics Pro. Built from the ground up with performance and stability in mind, the Shader Debugger is hardware accelerated and runs completely on the GPU, which allows for quick setting of breakpoints and efficient stepping through your shader code. It's also a live Shader Debugger, which means that you don't need to stop application execution through frame capture like for other frame debugging features. There are multiple ways to inspect variables, including locals, watch, and registers. You can see the call stack for your shader, SAS disassembly, and warp correlation of which threads are executing at that source line location. To make finding and fixing bugs in your code even easier, we've created the Focus Picker, which allows you to view pre-transformed geometry for vertex buffers and the contents of the current render targets with an overlay of the fragments currently in flight. Pro tip, make sure to include debug info for your shaders by specifying the correct debug flags during compilation. If you would like to try out the Insight Shader Debugger Early Access, please contact your friendly neighborhood NVIDIA DevRel. In order to make inspection of your frames easier, GPU Trace now features an events list. API events like Dispatch Rays are displayed along with marker correlation and timing information. Selecting events from this list creates selection regions in the full timeline. Selecting an event also allows you to visually inspect API state to verify that parameters are as expected. GPU Trace has had trace analysis for quite a while, and we continue to hear from developers that having easier access to easy to understand and actionable optimization information is critical. In this release, we've improved trace analysis to provide the top three issues affecting performance per marker. By addressing these first, you're likely to find which optimization opportunities will result in the biggest performance improvements in your renderer. NVIDIA technologies like DLSS take advantage of CUDA under the hood. In order to better understand what's happening after you integrate DLSS, we now provide CUDA events information directly on the timeline in GPU Trace. NGX is a library that is used to easily integrate AI-based rendering technologies into your application. NGX events and shaders also now show up in the GPU Trace timeline and events list, allowing you to find the best place in your code to overlap workloads in order to maximize parallelism. Insight Graphics now supports OpenXR for general frame debugging, which includes capture and replay. OpenXR is an industry standard that has dramatically simplified the way in which developers like you can build high performance and low latency virtual reality and augmented reality applications. In the past, Insight Aftermath would provide basic information on the last resource that was available before GPU crash occurred, making it difficult to correlate crashes to specific resources. This lack of actionable data could be very frustrating and we heard you. With the next release of Aftermath, additional resource information will be tracked, providing a full resource history and dramatically improving your ability to locate the reason for difficult to debug crashes. This resource history can be viewed using the Insight Aftermath Dump Viewer in Insight Graphics. Thank you for watching and don't forget to send us your bugs, feature requests and general feedback using the integrated feedback button at the top right of the window. If you like this video and would like to see more like it in the future, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the NVIDIA Developer Channel.